Tonight on Mellow TV Sports, Junior Flemings wins Golden Boot of the USL. The Chennai Super Kings loses to the Kolkata Knight Riders in the IPL. And Kenin and Sitsipas find at the French Open. We kick off Mellow TV Sports with football as under fire reggae boy Junior Fleming has been given the golden boot in the USL. The Phoenix rising forward led the regular season with 14 goals. His teammate Solomon Asante took the Assists Championship Award for a second consecutive season. Flemings will miss the rest of the season out of the playoffs after he was handed a six-match ban by the league for using an anti-gay slur against an opponent last week Wednesday. Meanwhile, Phoenix Rising General Manager Bobby Duell says that the club will not appeal the USL decision to punish Flemings for the alleged homophobic slur. The Jamaican player strongly denies the allegations, but was suspended and given an undisclosed fine by the league. The 23-year-old was also placed on administrative leave by rising attitude today, said that the club wanted to let due process play out before moving forward. FIFA President Gianni Infantino has described preparations for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 as impressive. During a whistle-stop tour of the country this week, Infantino met with tournament organizers and took part in a seven-a-side match at Al Bayt Stadium, a 60,000 capacity venue designed to resemble a traditional Arab tent. The striking arena will be inaugurated in the coming months and has been confirmed as the venue for the opening game of the tournament. Preparations for Qatar 2022 have continued despite the COVID-19 pandemic following the implementation of stringent health and safety protocols to protect workers from the virus. Khalifa International, Al Janoub and Education City Stadiums have all been inaugurated and are fully operational with three others, Al Bayt, El Raivan and Al Tauma in the final stages of construction. All eight venues will be completed well in advance of the tournament. CONCACAF Kingpins Mexico today beat the Netherlands 1-0 in a friendly in Amsterdam. The game was Frank de Boer's first game as Netherlands coach and it ended in defeat as a second half penalty from the man Raul Jimenez gave Mexico the victory. Jimenez had missed several chances before he converted from the spot after being pulled back by defender Nathan Ake. The Dutch team were poor, although almost snatched an equalizer late on when Memphis Depay hit the bar. Netherlands play Bosnia and Herzegovina in the Nations League on Sunday. Former Crystal Palace manager De Boer was named Netherlands boss on September 23, succeeding Ronald Koeman after he left to take charge of Barcelona. Elsewhere, Chelsea striker Olivier Giroud today became France's second highest goal scorer of all time, surpassing Michel Platini in a 7-1 friendly hammering of Ukraine. Giroud scored twice in the first half to take his tally to 42 on his 100th international appearance, nine adrift of Thierry Henry's record. 17-year-old Eduardo Camavinga netted the opener on his full debut to become France's second youngest goal scorer. Corentin Tolisso, Kylian Mbappe and Antoine Griezmann all found the net. The thrashing marked the worst defeat in Ukraine's history, with a side now managed by former AC Milan and Chelsea striker Andrei Shevchenko. West Brom winger Kamil Grossiski scored a 19-minute hat-trick for Poland in a 5-1 friendly win over Finland. Grossiski has scored once for Albion since joining them from Hull in January and has yet to feature in the Premier League this term. Also today, Turkey scored an injury-time equaliser to clinch a 3-all draw against Germany in a six-goal thriller at Cologne. The visitors came from behind three times, including the 94th minute strike. 
We bowl over to Cricket News now. Jamaican all-rounder Andre Dre Ross Russell and Sunil Narayan today picked up one wicket apiece as their Kolkata Knight Riders team defeated Chennai Super Kings by 10 runs in the IPL today. Chennai faded from a 90 for 1 at the halfway stage to finish on 157 for 5 in their chase of 168 to hand Kolkata victory in Abu Dhabi. Now, Russell had figures of 1 for 18 from two overs, while Narayan was 1 for 31 from four. KKR were bowled out for 167 for the last ball of their 20 overs, with Narayan making 17 and Andre Russell just two. Dwayne Bravo bagged 3 for 37 from his four overs. Kolkata moved up to third in the IPL table. We go over to track and field news now as Uganda's Joshua Cheptekai smashed the men's 10,000 meter world record as Ethiopia's Latensebet Giddy broke that of the women's 5,000 in Valencia, Spain today. Chapter Guy clocked 26 minutes 11 seconds to beat Kenanisa Bekele's 15 year old time by more than 6 seconds. Giddy clocked 14 minutes 6.62 .6 seconds to better the 4 11 15 set by Taranish de Baba in 2008. They achieved the feats at the NN Valencia World Record Day, a one off event taking place in the Spanish city. Michaela's previous world record time of 26 minutes 17.53 seconds had been the longest standing men's 10,000 meter world record in history. Chapter Guy's success marks his fourth world record in 10 months, having broken the 10 kilometer world best in December and the 5K world record in February. At the Monaco Diamond League in August, he broke another of Bekele's world records, beating his 16-year-old mark in the 5,000 meters by two seconds. Chapter Guy now becomes the 10th man in history to concurrently hold the 5,000 and 10,000 meter world records. We go over to tennis news now. Novak Djokovic today recovered from a set down to make it through to the 38th Grand Slam semifinals of his career at the French Open, where he will play Stefanos Tsitsipas. The only blemish on Djokovic's 36 and 1 record in 2020 so far was a result of his fourth round disqualification at the US Open for accidentally hitting a line judge with a ball and he faced the same player across the net in Paris, Pablo Carreo Posta. Top seeded Djokovic rebounded in the best possible way to win 4-6, 6-2, 6-3, 6-4, despite having tape on his neck and facing some issues with his left arm early on. Greek fifth seed Stefano Tsitsipas reached his first French Open semifinals with a commanding straight set 7-5, 6-2, 6-3 victory over Andre Rublev. Rafael Nadal was given his first real test of this year's tournament, but the defending champion successfully stayed on track for a record equaling 20th Grand Slam title with a straight sets of victory over teenage sensation Yannick Sinner. Now, the Spaniard looking to match Roger Federer's record of 20 Grand Slam men's singles titles was stretched like rarely before by the 19-year-old Sinner, but he came through though to win 7-6, 6-4, in a match which ended at 12.25 a.m. on a windy night in Paris with the temperature in the low 50s. Sinner is the first French Open debutant to reach the last eight since Nadal in 2005. In the women's play, Petra Kvitova reached the semi-finals for the first time since 2012 as an emotional run continued with a 6-3, 6-3 victory over Germany's Laura Siegmund. She will face America's Sofia Kenin for a spot in Saturday's final. Australian Open champion Shannon progressed 6-4, 4-6, 6-love against compatriot Daniel Collins after the world number 57 needed treatment in the decisive set. Speaking of Kenin and Tsitsipas, French Open semi-finalists have both been fined $8,500 US dollars at the tournament so far for multiple infractions, including receiving coaching help. 
Both coincidentally were docked the same amount for the same offenses. 3,000 for coaching in the first round, another 4,000 for coaching in the fourth, and an additional 1,500 for unsportsmanlike conduct. Both are coached by their fathers. No coaching help is allowed during matches at Grand Slam tournaments. The good news for Kenin and Sitsipas is that the fine money comes out of their prize money and reaching the final four in singles at Rolling Garros is worth 500,000 US dollars. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with Sports Spotlight. In tonight's Sports Spotlight, I want to speak about the situation surrounding Jamaican international Junior Fleming. Now, an investigation was done by the USL, and it was concluded that Junior Fleming did in fact use an anti-gay slur at a player when Phoenix Rising faced off against San Diego Loyals in the USL. Now, they found him guilty and banned him for six games and fined him for an undisclosed fee. And those six games goes until the end of his contract in November. I just want to implore a lot of Jamaican internationals that are playing overseas and some Jamaican players that are going to play overseas to just be careful, relax and be settled and let your game do the talking or this can happen to you. This has been... Sports Spotlight. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. I'm Christopher Scott. Good evening. Mellow TV Evening News at 8 was brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. If you think you've been exposed to COVID-19, stay home. Self-isolate immediately and call 888-1-LOVE. That's 888-663-5683. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness.